Um, so again, 7 a.m. final exam uh, a week from today. Uh, and be there. Bring your, your monster or your, what do they call those things? Macchiato. Uh, those things, they're like milkshakes or whatever from Starbucks. Anyways, uh, you're welcome to do that as long as you don't spill it. And certainly don't spill it on my computer up here. Otherwise, you'll have instantaneous firing squad. Now, we're going to talk about black holes today. And uh, we're going to start, you know, where we left off with concepts of lensing. But let's just have a question or two. Um, let me pause for questions about the final, et cetera. Question. It's not about the final, but it's, is it nice to observe the last observatory? Oh, observatory. Uh, observatory. The question is, is tonight the last one? Boy, you know, I think it looks like we're, it's, I don't think, is it green? Did they? Do they turn it? It's per, still purple. That's the that's the way they roll, though. You know, they'll turn it green. You know, late in the day. But I don't know. It looks good. I mean, it, last night was clear. So tonight, hopefully, you know, we won't suddenly get you know like a mass of clouds. So uh, one more go. One more go round. And uh, you know, so go tonight if you haven't already been. Now we're gonna have some clicking today that we're going to convert at the end of class into some bonus points. So if you can't ever go to the observatory, you can get four bonus points today from clicking at the end of lecture. And then we're going to have a big mega review inside web courses. That's another four bonus points if you do good on it. And, and so you get a total of eight, same as anybody else that goes to the observatory. But uh, so keep an eye on that uh, and go if you can. By the way, I posted the points um, for uh, the last two, the previous two observatory sessions. Uh, you may have noticed that, I hope you did. Question. Uh, talk to me after class, we'll double check. Okay. Because uh, sometimes I can't, oh, you know what? You might, have, you might be in somebody, some other instructor's pile or something. We'll talk after class or during the clicking at the end of class. All right, yeah, question. Uh, well, you, no, you, you can, if you come to office hours, you can look at any of the other exams. You could take notes on it, but you may not copy it verbatim. Uh, but uh, the blurb sheets that I've, you know, tried to put out, you know, hopefully I'll get those done by before next Thursday. You can review um, along with your Scantron printout. By the way, have you started giving those out yet for exam three? Oh, no, I didn't do that. Okay, so uh, we can start handing, getting those out to you. Question? Normal office hours on Wednesday, yeah, 9 to 10. Okay, and I guess, Jenny, are you going to have office hours? Probably not. Okay, Jenny says probably not. All right, because she's, she's got exams too. So, But, yeah, I'll be around uh, Wednesday. And then Thursday, 7 a.m. And it's even tougher for me because i got to get all those exams down here and ready for you by 7 a.m. All you got to do is show up. All right, let's keep talking about um, lensing. Uh, we finished up with the lensing of light rays. We're going to review some of the sketches of that. The basic philosophy is this. Um, you know, in the early, before the theory of relativity, we figured that photons were massless particles. They travel at the speed of light. And because they were massless particles, no one would have predicted that they respond uh, to the the two gravitational fields in any way. Uh, but then, um, and so Sir Isaac Newton would never have predicted uh, that a photon from a star behind the sun would do anything else than cruise past Earth and never be seen. But um, what Einstein figured out was that if a photon has energy, anything that has energy or mass it is participating in the curvature of space-time, and therefore it's going to uh, curve slightly. 
And if you're in the right spot, you'll collect some photons from that star that's actually behind the sun. But, you know, it kind of curves around the sun, goes around the horn, and, and, and beams right straight to your telescope. Now, it might be kind of dim, but, yeah, we can, we've measured it for sure. Okay, and, and now, I mean, that was 100 years ago. Back in 1919 was the first big test. Uh, so that's 99 years ago. Uh, they observed uh, def what they call deflection of starlight uh, in a total eclipse of the sun in 1919. Uh, now we see it every, every place. And it, you know, it explains some really interesting features um, around the event horizon of a black hole. So, for instance, the point of no return, that's the colloquial usage that we have for the event horizon. And what we're going to do today is talk about lensing and the formal definition of an event horizon as a trapped surface, a surface uh, of trapped photons. Uh, and, and this is an idea that was um, enunciated about 50 years ago by Roger Penrose, 1965. So now here's a picture that we looked at last time. This is the galactic cluster Abel 370, plus a, a lot of other galaxies. All the yellowish blobs here that you see uh, are, are galaxies almost. And some of the galaxies, actually, if you look at it carefully in YouTube, or if you go to this um, uh, astronomy picture of the day, uh, August 28th, 2016, you'll see that some of the galaxies are a little bluer than, uh, than the others. Uh, so that kind of that arc up here in the, in the upper right uh, of the diagram of the image uh, from Hubble is, uh, is a lensing uh, feature uh, from some of the galaxies way in the back. Now, let's take a look at the sketches. I revamped my sketches for uh, lensing. All right, now, um, let's say that you have a star that's behind the sun. Um, so the, here's the Earth, here's us. Here's the sun, and we're on this line straight from the sun to the earth. So we're not necessarily going to see this star. Anything that cruises past the sun is also going to cruise past us. All right? Uh, according to Sir Isaac Newton. All right? So, oh boy, let me... Mm. Let me pause my podcast here just a second. I have to change something. My animation is, I forgot to, come on, baby. Here we go. All 